Now, once your item text templates for all the seven items are ready, uh, that is three products and four services as per the data given here. So now our item text templates are ready. So we can go ahead and with the defining an items. But before that, one more thing we need to ensure it says enable automatically add text and charge from item text template in account setting. So for that, I can go to account and it will show me somewhere account settings uh, it's, yeah it's account settings so select that I'll show you once again account setting and here automatically add text and charge text template this should be ticked ensure that it is ticked which is a default setup setting so let's not change it just click save and come out of this so this is also has been done now I can go ahead and define the items to define an items uh, I can go to stocks or I can simply type here items and it shows item list so select that right now it will be blank so click on create new item remember it's a brief form a small a shorter version of the full form you can click on edit in full page so my first item is product pd which is portable drive name is portable drive this item is item group product and unit of measure is numbers so item group is products and uh, the unit of measure default unit of measure is numbers yes the next maintain stock years so you'll see here a checkbox maintain stock yes ensure that is ticked the next is default warehouse finished goods stores that's what we want to ensure so for the default warehouse you can go to uh, sales and purchase ensure uh, note that this form has a separate subsection below the main form so you can explore those go to the sales purchase accounting detail here click on add row and in default warehouse select delete this is given and remember we want to put this item into finished goods stores so put is finish goods stores default price list right now we have not given any price list for this item so we'll keep it blank I think that much information is sufficient yeah item text template we need to attach for that scroll down and locate a option called item text click on item text add a row and type product PD because that's item text which we want to attach and text category will right now keep it blank I think that much function is sufficient for the time being click on save so it has given you a saved message here and my item definition has been done for product PD similarly you can define rest of the items rest of these two items which is product category and the services right now I'll show you one more item entry as a services so this has been done and now I'm going to show you this just service empty so again go to items click on new and add it in full page the item code is service empty item name is maintenance services the item group is service 
this item groups were created when you set up the company by the, by the system itself. Uh, the unit of measure is hour. So I should change from numbers to H -R O U R. Okay, it gives me hour. Uh, maintain stock no. So I should remove the checkbox from here. Maintain stock no. And default warehouse not required because we are not going to maintain a stock. And item text template which we have to add is service empty. So go below, click on item text, add the row, and select service empty. So whatever text rate has been defined under this template will be applicable to this item. Click on save. I got a message saying your item has been saved. Let me go and check in the item list. These two items are now available. So I request you to enter rest of the items as per this table. Thank you very much.